Good morning. It is uh, around 5:30 in the morning here, and um, Ash and I are on shift change. Mostly Ashton. I'm just gonna go and do some other stuff as well. I'm gonna help her get fueled up if she needs it. So we're on the way to the Swathers. Hold on here. There we go. That's better. It is foggy out this morning. And very wet. back home um, it's still too wet to cut I think did I say that it's August 25th today because I don't remember what I said that it was yesterday with National Swathing but anyway it's August 25th today and it's still too wet to uh, combine back home hasn't rained all year and now we've been sitting in a bunch of rain can't believe it oh I should be able to believe it because that's normally what happens Mike, why wouldn't you guys just carpool? That seems like the smarter idea, you know? Uh, it's because she needs a vehicle. And she needs fuel and parts and tools and whatever she might need at the corner of the field while she's working. I will not be there the whole time. So that's the reason why. Just like that, we're here. I'm just gonna pull off of this approach right here, get off the main road. What? Uh, where's the fuel on it? Oof. It's a mud hole out here. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. Back it up. Yeah. Yeah. I got the truck out of the way. What she's doing here is she's just going to wheel the sprayer around so that way we don't have to take the truck in the field. Nobody is on that stuck list yet from us, so we do not want to we do not want to be on the stuck list. Of course Ashton always has to clean her cap. She's got her broom there. <laughs> She's just like, are you watching me right now? We're watching you! So, um, admittedly, so we're uh, we're a slight little bit late. We're supposed to be out here at five, and it is now about six. Because that's when Travis shut down was at five. Operation. Can't be that hard to figure out. Oh, 
Oh, there it is. Got it. Oh, well, they hit it. No wonder why I might couldn't see it. So, if you're new to the uh, swathing video from yesterday, maybe, um, this, or you didn't watch that one, this is a 40 foot. I do believe this is like a honeybee. I think this is a honeybee with case ends. Looks like a honeybee anyway. And according to the weather station up here, we've gotten around that 2.3 inches of rain. 2.3 or 2.4, something like that. It's only like seven degrees. It's cool out here. It's foggy, it's wet. These are prime swathing conditions. Mike, why are you swathing again? So, so a little recap, we're growing Nexera canola, okay? Um, there's lots of different types of canola that you can grow. This is Roundup Ready Nexera canola. And we also grew a little bit of Clearfield Nexera canola. Now, I am new to the Nexera, Clearfield and Roundup. I always grow Liberty, okay, with the Liberty link. Liberty, you can, uh, with the Shad Potter um, resistant gene that's in it, um, you can straight cut that stuff. Like, you can leave that stuff out to November and it ain't going to shatter. But this stuff shatters, which means the pod splits open, okay? So, this stuff, you have to swath. If you didn't swath it, these would just turn brown and start ripening like they are. And then they would split open and drop all the seeds. Now there's lots of different types and there's lots of different buyers and there's lots of different reasons why you could go with one to the other. There's tons of different varieties of canola and this is what we have chosen this year. I think one's 1028 and one's 2030 maybe. I think 1028 and 2030 are the two varieties, something like that. I don't remember you guys. And the reason why is because there's a crusher plant not too far from us. Where back home, we have to grow Liberty because, you know, we get lots of winds and uh, we do not have swathers. So there is reasons why you would swath. Other reasons why you would swath, I guess, if you want to walk over here to the cereals, these are not mine. But he's obviously going to straight cut this because it's, it's darn near ready. But uh, another reason why you would swath if it was coming in really uneven, you had lots of green sloughs and green sloughs and green sloughs. You could either spray or you could swath it. I guess if you already own swathers, maybe you just want to swath it. But there is pros and cons to swathing. So canola, not so much. Cereals, uh, if you swath it and lay it down into a swath and then you get a bunch of rains, it's going to take it a lot longer to dry out. Now, obviously, there is no crop this year. Well, there's a lot better crop up here than there is back home. But So everything is far more advanced for this time of year. This time of year, this would still be quite a bit greener from what I am told. Because, you know, we're still in a drought up here too, right? Because this canola, I hope that it does 20. This is our best field over there. I hope that it does 10. And we did take some hail in another field. So uh, right now we are cutting our best field. And, you know, normally their canola is a lot better than 10 and 20 bushel, okay? Up here. But if you lay it in a swath in cereals, or canola, but canola won't sprout, right? So cereals sprout when laid into a swath or it gets rain. Heck, cereals can sprout in the head if you get enough rain. So there's pros and cons. Also, a swath is a whole other application. So, you know, more fuel, more cost, more labor. We don't have swathers back on the main farm, but it's just because we don't need them. But up here, you need them. Doing a little bit of maintenance scene. <laughs> Ashton is quite pregnant and she's uh, finding the struggle to be real when you're farming and uh, pregnant. We're expecting beginning of November. So that's coming right up. I guess I could watch the fuel. I guess I better not walk out here, Ashton just kind of swept it. But Mike, are you going to give us a little run through of the older swather here? And I say no, because they don't trust me on their case swathers. So. <laughs> I hopped in. I don't have a lot of swathing experience. What? He's making fun of me. I didn't walk in there, honest. Mike is 
One section, one guard, dug a little bit of mud out, and uh, we are now off to the races. jump over this other field this is a really hard field to do so we want to try to get that wind done during the daylight we can always finish this field it tonight when it's dark and 
while she does that, we are going to catch up with her a little bit later. How can you think one field's gonna do 20 and the other one's gonna do 10? And why is there such a seating difference? One greener and one more right than the other. Well, it's because the half to the right um, was seated about a week earlier. We had a big rain delay and snow delay. Remember all that ice and snow that we had in the spring? Um, that's the reason why. Why can't you just wait until uh, it's all ready? It's, farming doesn't work that way. You're, you're up here. It's all getting cut down, whether it's late, right, or early, and then you're moving out and going somewhere else. That's the reason why. And the yield differences is because, uh, again, the seeding times and just how the rains came through. This up here, it hardly got any rain. Um, it's very dry. At first, when it was bolting, I'm like, oh my goodness, it's gonna bolt, bolt. I was really thinking it was gonna do about five bushel, to be quite honest with you, but uh, canola has definitely proven to be resilient and uh, gonna get a little bit more so happy about that the barley and lentils up here they're getting very close to being ready might go check those out a little bit later today as well all right guys so we we're just running into Winyard here Ashton swathed her 10 mil wrench or she lost it. I don't know if she lost it or Travis lost it, but somebody lost the 10 mil wrench. And uh, so we're just gonna just find a Napa here, I think, or somewhere where we can find a, kind of a weird street here. We got two lanes. I think we got two lanes. Oh, we got a stop sign. Okay. Looks like it merges to one lane now. All right, Winyard, what do you got going on here? Looks like this other lane's just for parking. Oh, we got another stop sign. What's with all the four-way stops in Winyard? I have no idea where I'm going. Zero idea. We're just gonna drive around until we think that we can find something. Another four-way stop. Oh no, it's to the left. We're going the wrong way. Well, how about, how about we're just gonna make a left turn here. Don't mind me, don't, don't mind me. All right, here we go. Apparently I'm not the only one looking for a 10 mil wrench. This is co-op service right here. He ran home to grab a 10 mil wrench for us. Cause 10 and 11 mils are sold out. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you, good sir. So he actually followed us here cause he ran home. He ran home to go grab the wrench cause he knew the co-op was out of 10 mils. And then, so I went to Napa. They're also out of 10 and 11, because John Deere, you need the 11. So those 10, 11 mils, that and probably three quarter inch wrenches, nine sixteenths, and perhaps a five inch, half inch wrench. Those are like the most common wrenches that everyone loses, at least around our farm. So we got one. We're off to the races. Thank you, good sir, you're awesome. Let's try to get out of this town without getting a rolling stop, because there's a stop sign on like every freaking intersection. All right. Whoever broke in, maybe uh, maybe they're looking for a 10 and 11 mil wrench. <laughs> okay, two Oh look, another stop. Can't see anything when I stopped anyway. All right, guys, we're finally back to the highway. Another stop. That one makes sense, because it's actually right on the highway. Let's go find Ashton. So here, here we are in the poor canola crop. When you can walk, 
kind of like over your canola crop here. When you can see when you can see dirt in the middle of the swath, that's not a good sign, you guys. It's not a good sign, especially for 40 feet. Why? That's a good question. Obviously, rain was a serious factor. We just lacked a lot of it, and uh, I'm surprised it even got this tall. But we weren't working with the best blank sheet of paper here either. We took over someone else's mess, and uh, we've been fighting it ever since. And it's going to take us a couple years to get it into uh, good, healthy soil again. But we'll get there. And it will rain again, I guarantee you that. wipers is the story of our lives. It's always in our ways. It doesn't matter what machine it's on. So I did. I should thank Nick. I do believe his name is Nick who actually uh, brought us this wrench. He actually went home to his own farm, you guys. Grabbed a 10 mil wrench. Followed me downtown to go to um, Napa. And of course, Nap was sold out, as you know already. And so, huge thanks, Nick. Really appreciate it. Really helped us out in a pinch. Mike, why don't you have your own stinking 10 mil? That is a very good question. Very, very good question. I will for now on, okay? For now on. That and it was lost. We did have one. Right, Ashton? Yeah. We did have one. Night swathing. Night swathing. Stuff happens. It's like the Bermuda Triangle. Things just go missing. on top of these hilltops. It is pretty sad. Call it bipolar canola. It, Ashen calls this canola crop bipolar. There's nothing. And then you get down into a slough and then there's something. Nothing hardly even to cut here. Okay guys, I'm gonna let you go. Actually, we're gonna step outside. We're gonna step outside. Hopefully, Ashton. 
mentioned doesn't stop fast. But we're gonna end up in the swamp. Let's do a little run along, shall we?